Stray bullet hit uh, that couple's car on the freeway up in Oakland, California. Um, his details of what they actually saw happening and the potential results of that. But luckily, they're both okay, even though you saw it looked like maybe some glass uh, hit the woman in the face. And I was worried about her eye there. But let's get some of the details of what they did see and experience. He said, I noticed the vehicle in front. Their passenger got outside of their window, basically were sitting on their passenger side window facing backwards. This looks like it's straight out of a movie, the way that he's describing this. And then literally a second later, you hear about four gunshots, I believe. One of them went through the window of this vehicle is what Garrett Mason said. Uh, Mason said that the stray bullet entered his passenger side window, just barely missing his fiance and exited out of the back window. He said it was a close call, but neither was injured. And he also said that he saw two suspect vehicles minutes before the shooting uh, began in broad daylight. Uh, they did call the cops as he mentioned there. And once they got there, he did point out, he said, we gave the cops our statements and that same video footage, but there isn't much evidence. So it'll likely go nowhere. Uh, the scariest part of this is that it, it occurred on a Tuesday at 5 p.m. on a major freeway. Not an avoidable situation as we try to move on with our lives as if nothing happened. Uh, let's take a look at some of these pictures as he said it entered through the passenger window and then exited the back window as you see on the right. I noticed even in the video that was running, I'm maybe it ricocheted around. I don't know how these things could possibly work. It looks like it hit the windshield. I, I don't know about the side window, but it ricocheted all through their car and amazingly missed both of them. Um, and then they moved on and did these types of things. But also, uh, yeah, let's let's actually show it one more time because I do want to see where it came through. It's not that long. Let's watch it again. So, uh, yeah. yeah, look at the bottom right corner. Hi, 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 hi. Are you okay? They just shot through our window. Are you okay? I'm fine, yeah, I don't feel anything. All right, we need to call the police. So sadly, it's not uncommon for things like this to happen because people road rage, maybe there's some kind of battle. Who knows what the reason is, people decide to shoot on a crowded freeway amongst a bunch of people. But this harkens back to a video that we did run early in the watch list days. Do you guys remember this guy? Let's watch. Guys like that that empty clips in the middle of driving because someone blew their horn at them on the streets. So uh, Jessica, um, you know, you're in the big bad city of LA now. These things type of things happen. Don't blow your horn. Don't tailgate. Don't tell someone what are you doing because things like this happen. Unreal. But how many people have cameras in their cars now? That's insane. The, yes. the dash cams in every car. Got to get one. Wild. Wild. The only problem with dash cams in your car is if you're singing to yourself, it's gonna get caught on camera and then maybe one day people will hear you singing. Yeah, yeah, singing and, and then it gets worse, right? Um, and it's crazy that this story, they their insurance didn't cover the windshield getting shot through because it's technically glass damage. They didn't have glass coverage. It's like healthcare, like your teeth are not covered as you know a part of healthcare because you know they're different bones. And it's really insurance just like trying to nickel and dime their consumers, make as much profit as possible. It's a huge problem. And they started a GoFundMe. Now GoFundMe is truly the number one insurance company in the United States. <laughs> 
America. <laughs> it is very sad. It's so sad that people have to pool resources in that way when they had insurance, they were covered by insurance. And it's because these insurance companies lobby to avoid regulation. And now when crazy stuff like this happens, people are literally getting shot at while driving. Their insurance is like, oh well. So we literally pay to live in a, a profit driven dangerous society. There's, there's a tax on that, it's not a tax by the government, but we are paying money for living in a dangerous and profit driven society. I guess the question should be asked is why are you driving on that for you when someone could obviously easily shoot out your windows? What's the matter with you? Be more careful. What's the matter, come on, come on. I, 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 the battles I've been through with insurance companies and extended warranties I've had on tires on a car that I bought because the tires were like nice tires. I was like, I'm not gonna pay for these. Guess who paid for the tires after I got a flat anyway? Those things don't work. I, I, I'm mad you even got me thinking about that, Jessica. 